Bravo Limited is the parent of Europe Inc, a wholly owned subsidiary. Now on your left hand side, we have Bravo, we have Europe, wholly owned means 100%. Both entities have 31 December year ends. Bravo Limited purchased all the shares of Europe Inc on 1 January 2013. On this date, Bravo Limited granted a loan to Europe Inc. Now we need to identify Bravo granted the loan to Europe. Therefore, in Bravo's records, we have to debit a receivable, loan receivable, and in Europe's records, we will credit a loan payable. No repayment terms have been agreed on and Bravo Limited will not require settlement of the loan in the foreseeable future. We need to identify that this will be a long-term loan. The loan is a monetary item forming part of net investment of Bravo Limited in Europe Inc. The respective functional currencies of Bravo Limited and Europe Inc. are the South African Rand and Euro. The following are the relevant exchange rates. They indicate to us on 1 January, which is our initial recognition period, an average rate and a year-end rate. Now remember, when they indicate to us our average rate, this is the rate that you need to use when we calculate our interest that should be recognized in our profit or loss. Now, case one. Learn in the functional currency of the subsidiary. Assume that the loan granted on 1 January 2013 amounts to 200,000 euro. Now this is in the functional currency of our subsidiary. Required. Account for the journal entries in the separate financial statements of Bravo Limited and in the group of the Bravo Limited group for the year ended 31 December 2013. Now, when we look at the separate financials of Bravo, now the rate on 1 January 2013 is 8 Rand 20, therefore 200,000 times 8 Rand 20, we need to debit our loan to the subsidiary and credit our bank. At year end, we need to recognize our loan at spot rate. At year end, the spot rate is 8 Rand 80, therefore, the movement in our loan will be 120,000. We need to debit our loan and credit a foreign exchange difference. And this will be a gain. Therefore, do you agree with me? At the end of 31 December 2013, the total of our loan will be 164000 plus 120,000. one seven six zero case two loan in the functional currency of the parent assume that the amount of the loan granted on 1 january 2013 amounts to one six four zero triple zero required account for the journal entries in the separate financial statements of europe inc and in the group of bravo limited group for the year ended 31 December 2013. The journal entry in the separate financial statements of Europe Inc. Remember Europe Inc, we need to translate this amount to our euro. Therefore, they've provided to us the rand value and we need to translate this to euro, therefore divided by 8 rand 20. And we will have to credit our loan from the parent of 200,000 euro. Now at year end, the rate is 8 rand 80 and this will result in euro of 186.364 and our initial amount was 200,000 and therefore we will have to debit and decrease our loan with 13636. Now guys, in our consolidation, when you look at the consolidation, remember, in the consolidation, we receive a trial balance 
of our subsidiary. When we receive our trial balance, we will have two line items. We will have our loan, which is accredited in our statement of financial position, and in our profit or loss, we will have our foreign exchange difference. Now, when you look at the loan, the loan should be translated based on our closing rate, 8 rand 80. The foreign exchange difference, which is a profit and loss line item, should be translated using an average rate. Therefore, when you look at this, in our group, remember in our group, in terms of IS21, we need to translate the foreign currency to our FCTR, or not translate guys, but transfer. We need to transfer. When you look at the loan amount, 1640000. Therefore, the initial loan in our Parents' records was one six four zero double zero, and the loan remains to be this one six four zero triple zero. Therefore, this is our intra group transaction that we need to eliminate, and we need to transfer the foreign exchange difference to our FCTR. Our journal entry we will have to debit foreign exchange difference and we need to credit our FCTR. Therefore, the principle remains the same, guys. We need to take the foreign exchange difference, which either is recognized in our parents' records or in our subsidiaries' records, to our FCTR account.